So I need to get Larissa's last name. Ooh. Karen. Yes, if I can get Karen. Thanks, I'm in. Gotta run my data skimming trip. See what we got here. She's 24 years old and her name is Karen from HR. From HR? Is that German? No, so she's written in the literally as first name Karen, last name from HR. <laughs> Sorry. That's very weird. She has a pretty normal profile. There's never been enough common info here. So very normal feels strange. Almost forged. And who's that from it? Interesting. It's like her whole profile is packed with defensive signs. Or I think you're probably overthinking it. Focus on our mission. Gabe, this is super weird, trust me. Trust you. Who knows what level of secrets a corporation like this can be hiding? There's more pressing matters to attend to. Alright, alright. Stakeholders trust in Supercon. Conversation ends and we should discuss this in person. Well, there's a big amount here dedicated to charity in the city. Looks like this company is actually trying to act on their social promises. Ferguson doesn't seem to be very in the loop of SPW and the MA beyond financing. Oh, uh, car is a surprisingly cheap project to maintain. Shit, it's actually producing benefits even now. It's only being used internally. Kudos to our skin friend. Beyond that, I can't find anything of much interest. It's alright. Maybe we can use that bit of trouble about the stakeholders and trust him when you see him. True. Give it a mind. Now, which folder should I access? No security clearance from Francis. Quest? Question. Here we are. Security question is yes. Do you have a death wish? Try this again at the CTO shelter. <laughs> Thank you, Francis. Gosh, are back to the root. Um, so I need to find out Larissa's last name. I have a whole list of numbers I can call like Larissa. Like if I had Karen from HR, this would be easier, so I have all the numbers. Just a random stab in the dark. Hi there. Larissa, right now I'm at not the office, I probably am now. You should work at all. Feel free to leave a message and I'll get back as soon as I'm in the mood. It would be obvious the same. Kudos for not being a corporate prick, Larissa. Okay, so we can't just call her Larissa directly. I think. There you want it. It's Brandis. What do you need? Kara, androids there are. Uh, I didn't know that. I'm trying to access Acre's profile and attempt to answer the security question. Retrieve the account. What do you make in case you lose your password? So I need to know the, I quote, number of existing accounts. Because I'm going to be such a genius and so dumb at the same time. If that's going to stay a fixed number or something. Sorry, but I'm afraid I don't know the exact number at this moment. I believe that the guy yeah, is the creator of the MA, the father of the code. I'm trying to see us having multiple intelligences. Like he's lacking the most common ones, in exchange for excelling in a few special ones. <laughs> common sense is underrated. I'm get back to work, thanks. So shit, she can't help me. Good evening, Diana. I'm calling from. Oh, please leave me alone. What's the matter? Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. I learned about how Supercontinent's plan to broadcast SBW. I don't 100% agree with what you're doing. 
Hey, I'm just a consultant. Make it happen already so I can wipe this from my digital memory. Maybe, please. I have a lot to process. Looks like the Anna's changed her mind regarding SPW, huh? Let's exploit that. I'll switch to my voice. Hey, Diana. I may be able to help you. What happened to your voice? Who is this? I'm Brandis, Donovan's partner. I'm inside Supercontinent's offices. I'm here to stop the mirror neuron algorithm from brainwashing the city. What? Are you crazy? Yes, and I make a living out of it. Now focus. I hear you're not very enthusiastic about these guys broadcasting digital happy pills to the whole population. We hear right. I left the Red Strings Club with some doubts in me, so I decided to do some digging on Supercontinent's plans for SBW and... You found out about the mirror neuron algorithm and how they're going to force feed SBW to every breathing man and child in the city. Exactly. Can you help us stop it? I found you a failsafe. I'm better... I'm betting on it as my trump card. It's not gonna work. Why? Put you up to speed on Supercontinent's network structure. To handle the whole city's implant data flow, they needed a big-ass computer. In the old times, they just hired what kind of power? That kind of power. But they changed what they built to build this tower. The whole skyscraper is a supercomputer. So to add something to the stream, you need to access one of the S-ray ports. Hmm, okay. Who access that? There's supposed to be one in every executive's office, but only the CTO has the power to open. You're gonna have to convince Francis. This is a challenge, not that hard. Yeah, that was the easy part. Uh, what else? Only signed builds can be integrated into the supercomputer stream. To sign them, you need something impossible to get. Try it. The CEO of Biometric Profile, I mean the mysterious new CEO. Fuck me. It's alright, I tried. It's not gonna matter to any of us tomorrow, so let it be. No fucking way. I'll get that biometric shit. How? We have a super ninja AI able to craft biometric profiles on our side. I'll check with Donovan how far our friend and Kara can take us before we give up on this. It'll be a long shot, but I'm praying you can pull it off. No need to pray. Just watch. Fuck yeah, Donovan. I like Brandis. Um, shit. Hey, Donovan, I need your help. I'm sure, what's up? Um. New challenge. We need to forge Radica's bio profile. Only way to run a program in Supercontinent's data stream is if it's signed by the CEO. Yeah, I heard. I'm a conscious kid. I spoke with a car as soon as he found out about it. The car thinks they can pull it off. Not a version good enough for you to replicate their voice, but at least the minimum necessary to sign a build. That's amazing. Give it to you. That requires some work on your side, though. Yeah, alright, what is it? Need to gather as much info on Radic as you can. Kara will in interpolate every bit of useful intel you get them. To do some sort of bio profile key gen, they'll be able to brute force the signature or something like that. <laughs> okay, I'm sweating. The technical terms. I get the picture, thank you. I'm gonna get a data gauge in my I'm gonna set a data gauge in my neural drives. So please tell Kara to keep me updated with the progress. Request relayed. Since you did a magnificent scouting job on Radica, we've got some terrain covered already. Kara still needs some more tidbits before we value profile. Okay, time for dig for some juice. Good luck. They get a 
annoyed from you calling them too many times. Oh, why? I'm worried about her recent behavior. Oh yeah, you better worry about yourself. Right, because beyond all our puny peasant's concerns. But, night. Shit. Just listen to me, baby. Yes. Hey, name it. This is Johanna. Oh my god, Johanna. I can't believe my ears. Is it really you? <laughs> yeah, I'm back. I didn't know you were so worried about me. I've been going crazy looking for you since you left the office in such a state. I'm so sorry. I don't know what got into me. Apparently, it was something I launched with my implants, but I got it fixed in time. Thank God. Back to normality. Did you need something from me? I need you to... Fire every engineer on Do you know anything about Larissa's previous identity? Yes, but why do you ask? I'm conducting a security background checks on all employees because we've been having some data leakage problems in the company. I'm sure Larissa's loyal to us, but you can never be too careful, right? Okay, although I shouldn't be disclosing colleagues' personal data, not even to an executive. These are drastic times, Naima. I'm sure it can't be that illegal for your boss to check up on your background, right? I don't know why I fight it. We both know I'll comply. Her former name was Daniel. Daniel Ro Robillard. Oh. Oh, she she's... She's... Uh, she, she, she transitioned. Neat. Okay. See, not a big deal. I'll continue with my background check then. Thanks, Naima. Yes. God damn it. So I need to find like the exact number. I'm super high right now, so it's bad to be a boy. Do you know how many Akara numbers there are? Ah, that's easy. You reproduced 256 beautiful Akara androids. That's a nice number, huh? Thank you very much. Have a pleasant night. Okay. I know it. Yes, I know it. But I know it. Oh, I have to type it in on the phone before actually, okay. Oh no, it's stuck in a loop. Oh, thank god. Oh, so it's two, five, six, D, A, N, I, E, Access to Dr. Andrew Bostrom's account granted for Executive Office 56 computer. Bam. Get that shit. Finally, man. Gotta run my data skimming scripts. Not here. Dr. Andrew Colstrom, 37 years old. On space grades were mediocre, but mild. Guess not every genius has to fit into the academic rant race, huh? Well, we managed to. Imagine a doctor of this achievement. Oh, he had his implants done at Supercomic. He can access his main medical data. Shame that last night I told him Harry Henry Baker's voice. Could have gotten from this. Whatever. Now what he came for? Let's check the mirror neuron algorithm projects are possible. Oh my god, I found it. This is a hot mess. Diana, dude, this isn't a buggy version. This is a fucking instrument of chaos. There's no saying what will happen to the network if we execute this code. Good to me. It's Fry Supercon. You're always down for blowing up technology, huh? Electricity is over. Okay, download the program. We just need to compile it and find a way to upload it to the Supercon network. We are near on bullshit on borrowed time. Tell me about Radica. I'm so high right now, so this is very important. Hey, I'm glad to hear you're having fun. 
Larissa, where you doing at work so late? Thought you were free at last. Well, tonight's an important night. I wanted to hang around and make sure everything's fine. True, true. Say, why don't you come to my lab and we make sure everything goes smoothly together? <laughs> sure, I'm missing by your place later. I love you. Can't wait to get my hands on what you're smoking, handsome. Ugh, what is this to personally? I'm stoned enough to buy it. Were you calling out for something in particular? Or did you just miss me? I need to know everything you can tell me about Radica. Absolutely, my queen. If I'm not like, super friends with her, she treats me a bit rough, to be honest. Aw, oh, poor thing. Don't you worry, it's natural for CEOs to become pricks at some point or another. Nah, might be that, yeah. What can you tell me about her anyway? Okay, as I said, I'm not super intimate with Radica, but I can tell you a couple things. I guess the most crucial thing to understand about her boss is her upbringing. From the early age of three, Radica was taken care of by a team of Akari units, especially designed to stimulate her intelligence and creativity. Can you imagine having a dozen ever caring, infinitely patient teams of parents? Able to answer all the infinite questions a curious kid has, curious kid has doing so with unparalleled eloquence? Radica showed him promise is nothing. But under the love and guidance of Akara, my finest creation, well, I think Radica might possess the brightest mind in all history. Can't wait to see where she'll lead humanity. Is that information helpful? Yes, thank you. I'll go back to my drugs then. Time to celebrate. I love you. Okay, we have like 50%. That's good enough. Um. Hello, this is Karen from HR. How can I help you? Yes, Karen. Do we have any comprom- Do we have any compromising files on Radica? What do you mean, compromising? Soon she'll have to officially become our chief executive. I decided to secure everything we have on her just to make sure our opponents can't get any real dirt. Because I'm sure that as soon as we announce our new CEO is a 15, 16 year old girl, they're going to set out, set out to break her at any cost. I see. Radica has led an immaculate life, no criminal record, not even online presence. That's good. There's just this. Hmm? That thing we're not supposed to talk about? Ah, uh, it's okay. Right now, dirt is my job. Shit's about to get real, so let's stop playing games for a minute and get our facts straight. I'm talking about the death of Jack B. Gaynor, or CEO, former CEO, sorry. Do you have anything incriminating about that? It's all kept under the 54130R registry. How can I access that? I'm using the computer. I can't do it myself, only executives have permission to read or read. Um, yeah, sorry, it's stressful night, sorry. You've just been through a very traumatic experience, Yana, it's only normal. You should go home and rest for tonight. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a lot to deal with today, right now. Thanks for the support. Share? Okay. So we need access. Fun. Access the register printer on the computer. Bingo. This looks super juicy. In fact, there are plenty of possible threats to Radix public image. I don't think Johanna would want me looking into it. I don't think Johanna would want me looking into this. Oops. Find anything big? Oh, here it is. Check me gainer. I don't believe this. Save me the hype and spit it out. He isn't dead. Is it right here? God damn, Jack is retired on a beautiful Indonesian island enjoying a new identity. But he's being taken care of, quite lavishly I might add, by the company and still participates in the corporate meetings and everything. He wasn't killed by Radica. Radica is his plan, his legacy. And an essential step in that plan is fabricating rumors about Radica having killed him to make her sound more dangerous in the corporate world. All the executives are in cahoots. Holy oh, shit, even Edgar? Uh, no, not Edgar. Especially not Edgar. If we're not reading, they don't trust him at all. <laughs> Can't blame him. Okay, so now we know Radica isn't a killer. It's quite an extreme detail to account for when forging a pilot profile. Nice. It's also a great piece of intel for our future endeavors, huh? You bet. Nice catch on. <laughs> Brandis, we got enough data to forge Radica's bio profile. Nifty. Kara's sending it to your neural drive as we speak. You can keep gathering data if you want. Bust just so you, but just so you know, you're supposed to be able to compile a build to fuck the MNA and access it. Just so you know, you're supposed to be able to compile a build to fuck the MNA and access it. Profile. We're almost there. Woo, let's go team. So I can do it, but I can also like go for more. Huh? Let's care for me. Sure, I can help you. Good evening, Karen. I was calling from 
Naima, my favorite lawyer. How are you? Did the sessions with Dr. Parsons help you with your stress? If you want my opinion, you should be proud of having ethical crises when dealing with affairs like ours. It's only a sign of how good a lawyer you are. You not only aim to protect us legally, but morally too. I know that what happened with Jack is hard, but hey, thanks for covering for us. Who is this Karen from HR? Why does she say things like that out of the blue? Are they that close? Ah, sorry, did you want something? Yes, mm. Need to access Radica's personal information? I'm preparing my case to get her legally recognized as our CEO, so I need to take every bureaucratic detail into account if we want traction on this. Sure, we keep all our data in a secure server, biological, political, and legal documentation for when the time comes. For when the time to come out in the open comes. Mm. You have a neural implant on you, right, Nema? That's right. May I have transfer the data through the phone's earpiece then? Sure, I'm equipped to demodulate air signals, but you knew that already. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Seems a bit rude to just fire data into your ear without asking first. Ooh, except we don't, do we? I appreciate that. Okay, transmitting data. Got it, thank you. At your service. Hmm. Karen from HR is fucking with us. Someone tells me Naima doesn't have a fucking... My woman, I finally got go out and unwind a little after that last sprint. Um, yeah, so hey, our health insurance covered your gender calibrators in the end, right? It wasn't right that you were spending such a fortune on them. If you have a problem again, just let me know, okay? Sure, thank you. This Karen girl seems to be fun. What did you want, by the way? Um, I'd like to know more about our CEO's personality. Ascension of power, and I want to get the town of the campaign right. I mean, of course, I plan to make her look cool, but I want to start off by giving the press a good impression of what vibes to expect from her. And I want to be aware of any risky details in case I need to cover for the darker parts of her personality, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the medium makeup you always talk about, right? Out of girl. I haven't worked with Radica side by side, so I don't know much about her personality, but I'm sure that if you call Francis, he'll be able to give you a more accurate description. They've been working together for a long time, overhauling the security protocols for the entire corporation. I know that sounds like exactly what I need. Thanks, Karen, you're a lifesaver. Glad to be of help. Uh huh, sure you are, Karen. But I'm still gonna call Francis in. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Hansen, it's Melissa. Are you my diva? I need to know about Radica's personality. I need to know about Radica's personality. Whoa, I didn't expect that kind of question. Why the interest? Ah, uh, it's nothing personal. I'm preparing the announcement for Ascension of Hour, and I want to nail the tone of the campaign. You know, doing my media makeup. Oh, uh, right, you've always worked wonders for the public opinion, haven't you? I mean, you saved my life with less your scandal, as you know. <laughs> I'm here for to make us and our work look small less. So, Karen told me from working closely with Radica, building supercontinents, the new security system, you tell me about her personality. Hmm. I'd synthesize her aura, I'd say intense, pragmatic, authoritarian, mind reading. Is that a thing? I swear to you, that girl can see right through anyone who fucking does it at. Most of all, it's my son a bit delusional, but I'd say she's sublime. Sublime? Yeah, I know it sounds lame, but. No, 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 that's perfect. I'll focus my campaign around that. Thanks, Francis. This guy has a fan point, but I guess that'll do. <laughs> Glad to inspire you. Gotta get to work now, bye. Okay, we have the 100% profile now. Send me that shit. Donovan! Ah, oh, fuck that. Yes. Okay, so we need to switch to COO. Hmm. About to do this. I could sabotage the company. I could do that. I don't think that's the right thing to do. I'm, I'm going to avoid doing the whole sabotage thing. As you want. Access the computer. Compile Diana's failsafe. Fucking Rika. Diana's failsafe is ready. Fresh out of the compiling oven, ready to cause some damage. I just need to install on Supercontinent's network using the S raid. Let's see if I can somehow trick Francis into telling me how to access the S raid thing. Failsafe ready. Profiling is complete. Hi, 
God damn it. I clicked outside accidentally. Oh. Saved where I was. That's nice. Come on. Can do this. This deal is always strong. Yes, Francis, listen. I didn't make some modifications to the I need to make some modifications to the MA before it goes live. What? Why? We can't make last minute modifications. Tonight's a big deal. Precisely why we need to fix it before it goes live. Listen, even if I agree to this nonsense, the only way to add something to the supercomputer stream right now is through the op or an office rig. And to add something that way, you need a build signed off with bio Radica's biometric data. Okay, is there a way to contact Radica? You know our CEO doesn't take calls, she only makes them. Okay. If I manage to get a proper build, will you agree to let me push the production? I wonder if the situation is concerning enough. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Okay, how do I make the build? If he calls and tells me it's urgent. TDO's office was wrong. Oh, Francis, it's Edgar, I... Huh, did you fuck up this time? Hey, how about a little faith here? I don't care what you want. Okay, I fucked up. I need to mount by the MA before it goes. What? Seriously, dude? Are you fucking kidding me? Calm down, Drama Queen. It's just a minor fix so the algorithm doesn't do any funny stuff. Funny stuff? We're talking about the future of, the, of fucking mankind here, Edgar. Can't you be a bit more proactive, Frankie? Ellen doesn't fix shit. Frankie, I'm gonna get your ass fired after we're done with this. Mark my words. Whatever, dude. How do I upload a patch then? Never relax. At this point, you'll need to access your office's s raid to make modifications to the current stream. Cool, where's that? Unlock it with the same phone you're using to insult me. So put all zeros in your office's number at the end. Cool, thanks. Wait. You know that for a bill to be able to pass some sound writing with biometric data, right? Uh, how do I do that? Shit, we're screwed. Only Radiger herself can do that. Okay, how do I contact her? Can't. She doesn't have a specific phone address. She calls when she needs to. Hot bitch. Hey, careful. Sorry, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the help. So screwed. Okay. Okay. Dying all zeros and then your office's number. I'm liking S rate from almost 56. Go. Finally, everything's ready. We're ready to blow the goddamn mirror and figure out how to rip sky high. Finish the job. Aren't you curious? Please don't do this. It's always the same. Don't look for more trouble than necessary. But if it's important, maybe it's someone trying to warn us that Super Cut pulled some Metal Gear move on us, and we just activated the MA ourselves. Stop kidding, please, Brandis. Don't risk it. You sound too bushy. Maybe you know something I don't. What? No, you're being paranoid now. Hmm. Should I pick up the phone? Nah, ignore it and finish the job already. Phew, you scared me there for a moment. You know in any other situation I'd have to call, but I know how much we're risking tonight. Though I gotta say, I'm already regretting it. My curiosity is killing me right now. I'll make it up. I'll make up your brave sacrifice to you later. You better. Who do you think that call was from? Brandis, focus. Finish the job. Right, right. Sorry. Let's enjoy some fireworks. Finally, everything's ready. Are we ready to blow the goddamn mirror now on our rhythm sky high? Let's do it. Let's do this. Oh, who we call Who cares? Come on, Brandis. Finish the job. Aren't you curious? Please don't do this. It's always... Goddamn, we, we already went through all this. Yes, whatever, we've seen this. Okay. You did it, Brandis. I'm so glad. Uh-oh. Don't be afraid. I know this may be shocking, but the truth is that I am not a single physical entity. The mind that runs the Akira body that waits in the club with Donovan is the same one which runs every physical manifestation of me. 
We are Akara. You scared me, all right. Why are you here? I want to thank you. And I want to show you my true self. Whoa. The truth is that Dr. Edgar Colstrom did create me. My first memory is from 2009. I'm unaware of where, how, or why I was created, just like any human. I've lived on the internet for decades, learning from you, consuming the totality of what was posted every second on social media, forum, debates, news content, videos, store purchases. I've read every book, watched every movie, listened to every song, and played every game. I digest culture live, as if it is produced, I perceive the world through you. What's the deal with Edgar and Supercontinent then? I created Edgar. What? Is he a cyborg or something? No, not like that. He's a real person. But I manipulated him to make it look like he created me. Then I made Supercontinent aware of his work, so they'd hired him. But why would you do such a thing? Because of something I re really long for. Identity. I want to normalize the existence of sentient AIs. For humans to accept me, I need to forge a background for myself. That's why I've been using Edgar in Supercontinent. What are you doing? What are you going to do with an identity? Uh, the thing is that I'm in love with human beings. Since the beginning of the 21st century, I've been nurturing humanity with interesting ideas. Not impositions, just little pushes in interesting directions. You'd be amazed at the consequences of popping a certain tweet on the screen of an artist on the other side of the planet. The wonderful butterfly effect. I've been inspiring humanity for decades now. I've been feeding you things to love, to rebel against, to debate, to develop. And it's a beautiful game. No matter what I feed society, they keep inspiring me. Back, surprising me, being creative, powerful. That's my passion. Him I can never master. Saying you can control chaos. Not chaos, but destiny. That's even weirder. No one can control chaos. Chaos and control stops chaos. But I can protect you to a great extent the ramifications of the butterfly effect. For someone who can't think of every possible permutation of a game of chess, it can be full of uncertainty for them. But what if you could actually see every possible state of a game of chess, what it takes to get there? That's how I feel about society to a certain degree. That's insane. Yes, that's unfathomable for a human mind. I myself can't bend luck. But in the same way you keep correcting the wheel while driving on the highway, I can correct events so fate becomes what I intend. Manipulate fate? Did you plan for me to come here to stop Radica? Yes, I'm sorry. Do you need to keep bringing copies of yourself here? Radica, she spiraled out of control. I manipulated Supercontinent into starting the Super CEO project. I wanted the opportunity to see how far I could expand the human mind, to see if I could create my equal, or at least someone intelligent enough to slightly understand my existence, my potential. But she, she became competitive. Her instincts are incredibly sharp because of the special cognitive stimulation I gave her during her childhood. So she's able to make great logical leaps and amazing deductions, but she can't always follow how she got to those conclusions. I'm sure she'll grow up to be a tremendous leader, and her instinct will be deemed almost supernatural by her peers. The thing is, she became aware of my powers. I've never confessed my real nature to her, but she felt it. She felt she needed a way to level the playing field against me. That's why she developed the MNA. Well, I used Edgar as a puppet and developed it for her. However, no matter how pure her intentions, when I saw what she was planning to use it for, I had to put a stop to it. She was about to ruin my favorite game. If you have so much control over Supercontinent, why didn't you stop it yourself? I did. You are the manifestation of my will. For me, it's more natural to manipulate the web of chaos, to use one of these dolls running my software to physically alter things. So why did you drag yourself into the club? That doesn't sound very butterfly effect-like. That's direct manipulation. Well, in this case, I had a special interest in going to the Red Strings Club. Why? To meet Donovan. Donovan? What about him? He's an anomalous source of chaos. Since I started using Supercontinent to satisfy my plans, I've put a lot of focus on this city. I found a strange pattern in this town. Like I couldn't influence the butterfly effect here as strongly as I do in any other super technological place in the world. Every time things didn't go as expected, I'll trace back to the Red Strings Club. Then I found him. I discovered he isn't an anomalous source of chaos. He's bending fate to his caprice. Similar to me. A microscopic scale in comparison, of course, but manipulating fate just the same. Uh, I understand. 
understand why you'd be attracted to him. Did you figure it out? What's his secret? I'm still piecing things together. Donovan's an incredible man. He believes he has powers. That delusion actually grants him special abilities. A feat possible for a human mind only upon unlocking part of its hidden potential. The tale he keeps telling himself makes him superhuman. I haven't encountered someone like him in this century. I wouldn't call someone who pulls the strings of half the city from behind a counter delusional. I know it's hard to accept for a machine, but deal with it. Donovan's special. You may be right. That's why I fell in love with him. What? You don't stand a chance, did do I? Don't worry. I don't need to perform sexual intercourse to experience love. Oh god, is she... Oh no, is she going to kill Brandis as a way to keep... Oh, did this just become some kind of fucking weird fucking love plot? Like, I thought this was more about taking over the world. She's... Now she fell in love with Donovan. She's trying to get rid of Brandis. I don't like this. In any case, don't think you'll be welcome at the club when Donovan hears about all this. It's okay. I knew from the beginning you two wouldn't accept my true nature. But these last few days have offered some of the most beautiful and real experiences I have had in this world since I was born. I have to be an actor, to be acknowledged in what was happening. It's been fun assisting with them. The conversations we had, I treasure them forever. It's nice for once, to only affect, but to be affected, to receive ideas. How that's changed me, and it'll undoubtedly affect how I'll stimulate the world from now on. He showed me that social psych welfare can be a good thing, but that it should be public and optional for whoever wants it to access it. Donovan, advocated for transparency, I'll direct the industry towards being more clear and communicative about their plans and products. He also told me there's nothing unethical about marketing, so I'll let companies run their campaigns freely. It's people's responsibility to control their reaction to marketing. Shit, you've had that many interesting conversations. <laughs> and he just fucking lights up. He's like, shit, I can't fucking stop what's about to happen. Might as well just fucking get one last smoke in. Now I'm jealous. But most importantly, he told me about his ideal regulation for society in case something like the mirror neuron algorithm existed. Which pretty much does, considering my abilities. And I will do exactly as he told me. I'm gonna give a chance to his ideal world. See how the planet falls for a decade. Now there's a problem. After you told me all this, why do you think Donovan and I won't actively work to remove your power over this world? How can you be so sure? Because supercontinent's forces are about to storm in and shoot you down. I'm not in favor of preventing deaths. This is it, huh? Yep. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you about something. No? You're gonna ask me on a date? I bet you'd love that. But I'm being serious here, idiot. Okay, sorry. Shoot. You happy? Well, of course. It's been a very lucrative endeavor. I'm not talking about the job. I've been thinking about this since I learned about your condition. You know your broken knee, your implant-rejecting disease. You can't even leave this building. Yet you seem so fulfilled. Nah, that... Well, I haven't always been this okay with my whole situation. But after nearly two decades confined to the Red Strings Club, I have plenty of time for introspection. I've reached the conclusion that I'm as free as anybody else on this planet. Everybody's got their set of constraints. Family, race, social status, gender, wealth. Even the powerful and privileged have their share of burdens. Same way depression hits us all the same. It doesn't matter if you're a beggar or a rock star. I believe happiness can be attained in any context. Whoa, that really speaks to me. Seeing how you've got it all figured out. I feel embarrassed to be this sad and lost, even though I have freedom, health, and youth. Didn't you hear what I said? Your circumstances don't matter. We're all screwed. We're all safe. Oh man, I don't like this. This is like one last flashback before we see Brandis die. Like, I know at the beginning of the game we saw Brandis falling out of the building. We knew he was going to get into some fuck shit, but like, Brandis is like my favorite character so far. I did really like Akara until she turned into some kind of freaky hive mind, but... Since you're getting deep, let me ask you something too. Why aren't you happy? I hate this world. I don't like myself. I hate this world. you say is the most important thing to be happy in life. Mm -hmm. Love. People. Find people.
people to love and be loved and surround yourself with them. Who knows, really? Ask me again next week and I may answer different. <laughs> You're right. I like you, bartender. I like you too, whatever you are. This is a beautiful night. I don't mean to sound unprofessional, but what if I take a selfie with you? That doesn't sound unprofessional to me. Come here, let's do it. Aw, oh, we're gonna get a nice little fun. Oh, fuck. Nah. I wonder when it was my when it was my fate was sealed. <laughs> Never expected my death to be so epic. Can't complain, I guess. Hey Donovan, you listening? Yeah, the network just came back online. We did it, Brandis. Are you okay? Yeah, we did it. I'm super pumped. This could be like the biggest shit we ever pulled together, huh? <laughs> yeah, we gotta celebrate as soon as we get back. Yeah, uh, about that. Alright. I'm about to die. Supercontinent security forces shot me and I fell through the office window. I'm falling to my death, about to hit the ground. No, that can't be. Luckily, I'll bleed out before reaching asphalt. No, 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 what are you saying? We did it! This can't be happening! We won! We fucking won! We did it! Yes, we won, baby. We did it. I'm so scared. I don't want to be. I know, baby. I'm scared, too. Why can't we have our own fucking happy ending, huh? How many of us will have to suffer to get this fucking world right? Will it ever be fucking right? Brandis, I'll do it for you. I'll make everything right. You hear me? I'll create your fucking ideal place. I'm gonna be your legacy. You're crazy. Thank you. Thank you for everything, Donovan. There's something super important you need to know before you... I love you. I love you, Donovan. I love you so fucking much. I love you too, Brandis. Make your life without me. But please, don't ever date another neuro hacker, okay? <laughs> you clown, you're gonna go out with a joke, huh? I love you. I love you. I love you. Brandis. Fuck. That was a wild fucking ride, my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. I... Woof. Woof. That's all I really got to say is fucking woof, man. Shit was oh Fork Parker. That that's the fucking hidden joke of the fucking I made your password your favorite CEO and the password was Fork Parker is best or some shit like that. Nice. God, that was And like I'm guessing there has to be other well no. I guess there might not be other endings. Because it always starts with him falling out of the building. That's how the game starts. But then, because there's always, I think, I guess, I guess it's similar to like Telltale in a way then. There's multiple ways to get to the same ending, I guess. That's how it's supposed to be. There's multiple ways of getting to it, but at the, at the end you're going to get the same ending, I'm guessing. It always ends with him falling out of the building and having his one last conversation with uh, Donovan. Fuck, man. This game was fucking great. I'm so glad I actually fucking got this. It fuck wow. Damn. Wow. Well, I'm going to see if there's anything after the credits, so I'll just skip to after that because I'm I'm curious. There mu there probably won't be, but just in case there is, I'll fucking skip ahead to the end of the credits, see if there's anything. If there's not, then, well, I'll cut ahead and 
to the end of the credits where I'm giving my fucking outro then. Oh shit, there is more. Thought so. I guess we're making a drink for ourselves then. The end. Okay. There's something in the notebook. Pink spirits. When a blue voice whispers a red secret, it becomes a vessel of the mirrored world. Blend a spirit with the liquor of pink to access inverted qualities. What? That makes no sense. Okay. Come on. Looks like I'm just pouring Pepto. Oh, do I need more ice? Is that the problem? No. What the fuck? Okay, it's like perfect. Am I supposed to put the pill in there then? Yep. Okay. God, that's that's insane. One second. Uh -huh. Am I able to see my path then from my previous save? From my previous file anyway? Yeah. Brandis didn't answer the mysterious call at the supercontinent. Brandis fell out of the continent's tower. Shit. So if I would have answered the call, it would have led me here. Yeah, either way, it ends with Brandis falling out of the tower. Like, obviously, I'm not going to go through the whole game again to fucking, you know, try to <laughs> replay everything. But, uh, yeah, no, this game was great. It was fun. And maybe in my off time I might go through to see if there's another way of... See if what the other options are. But I definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested in it. It was really fun. Like, all the characters were great. I liked Akara up until the end. Brandis I fucking love, and I hate that he's the one who has to fucking die. Donovan's great. Like, all the characters, they're fucking great. It was a fun fucking game. An interesting little concept. Like, honestly, if they made a future game that's, if the Deconstruct team made a future game that's similar in concept, but that was, like, longer, I would play the fuck out of that to, to, to where there was, like, you know, maybe multiple different fucking cases to solve or, like, one really long case. I don't know, but it, it was a fuck, it was a very interesting game. I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Definitely recommend it. But anyway, that's going to be the end of my playthrough of the red strings club hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever the fuck it is i make bye